just want to mention a couple of other things. A uh, reminder for working with rational functions, if you want to find vertical asymptotes, remember the vertical asymptotes are going to be when the denominator is undefined. And so normally you can just factor, and in this case I'll get the quantity x minus 6 times the quantity x plus 4 over the quantity x plus 5 times the quantity x minus 5, difference of squares. Uh, this is going to be undefined when the denominator is 0. So that's when x is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to 5. So those are your two vertical asymptotes. Um, horizontal asymptotes are the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x. If you look at this first one, uh, notice that the highest power is 2, and so really these other powers are going to be relatively insignificant as the value of x increases. Uh, as a result, you really only care about the two highest powers here. Uh, sometimes they show this by dividing each of the terms by the highest power, uh, but you can also just kind of look at it. x squared over x squared is going to simplify down to 1, and so your horizontal asymptote would be the horizontal line y equals 1. Uh, here you can see the denominator's got a higher power, so it will increase much faster. As a result, the denominator will go to infinity first, which can give you a value of 0. This one, the numerator is going to increase much faster. So you get a, there's y equals zero by the way on the other one, you get a limit of infinity which just basically means the graph will not approach any set value. And on this last one here notice again highest powers are x to the third. We don't care about all these other values. Uh, so this is going to approach a limit of three-fourths which means the horizontal asymptote is going to be the horizontal line y equals three-fourths. Uh, down here, just a few reminders. Uh, if you've got a function written like this, remember you can write it several ways. If you need to take the derivative, you could write it using a negative exponent, and that'll make it pretty easy to work with. Uh, remember you can also write this in a fully rational function form, having a common denominator. Uh, in this case, you would need uh, this denominator to be over x, so you can multiply the top and the bottom by x, assuming that x is not equal to zero. And as a result, you end up with 2x squared over x plus 1 over x. Remember, when you add fractions, the numerators get added. The denominator stays the same. And so if you needed to for some reason, you could write it in that form. Of course, remember, when you're dealing with square roots, there's your half powers. And also remember, if you're trying to solve equations with rational exponents, remember that you can divide out your lowest power of x. So I can divide out an x to the one-third here. Uh, remember you're dividing out an exponent, you're subtracting exponents. So that gives you x to the three-thirds, which of course is just x to the first, minus one equals zero. So that's x to the one-third times the quantity x minus one equals zero. Uh, of course if x is equal to one, here you get a solution. And the cube root of zero is equal to zero, so those are your two solutions. So it is possible to do some of these equations by hand.